I'm selling my 1979 Mark Twain V-Sonic 170BR, or it's 175BR, with a Mercruiser 470 3.7 liter four cylinder. Included with the sale of this boat comes this trailer. This is an easy loader trailer. I'll have um, more information that'll be in the Craigslist ad about the exact year and model of this trailer. It is a roller, so it's extremely easy to get the boat on and off especially using the supplied winch right there. It's a little windy, so I apologize, but we're finally out in the boat. The, gang, the gang's all here. The boat's been in the water many times this year. It starts up great, runs and drives real nice. Recently, I just added a brand new skeg guard onto this, um, on the skeg here. The propeller, the propeller has a couple little chips here but it hasn't really affected the performance whatsoever of the boat. This thing still absolutely rips. Nick, a real American sea man! <laughs> Open her up a little bit, Nick. <laughs> Hopefully this case is blocking a lot of the uh, wind noise. Sea Captain Yard. The shift cable bellows, if that'll focus in there. The shift cable bellows right there. And the um, shift cable itself was recently replaced. You can tell there's kind of that new gasket protruding a bit from here. I'll also throw in a brand new drain plug with the sail of this boat. The bimini cover is on right now. The bimini cover is a little faded. The bimini top is in excellent condition. There's no tears or cuts on it or anything like that. So that's always a plus. I think it was probably replaced recently. Trailer lights do work just fine. Turn signals and hazards, I'll get to those in a few minutes. And as you can see, the paint's a little faded. Could be restored a little nicer, but that's why this boat is going for so cheap. Just 2,000 bucks is what it's listed for, but hey, throw me an offer. The worst I could say to you is no. All right, so let's move into the interior of the boat. As I said, it is a 1979, so it's got quite a lot of wear on it. The floor is still good. There's a little, little tear in the carpet there, which a uh, previous owner said was from, he spilled something on there. But that's not a big deal, especially if you're just looking to go out and have some fun. This boat will start every time for you. The seats, they could be in better condition. Uh, they're not really dirty or nothing. There's a couple of tears in them. I'll move this. It's a lot of fun to anchor off somewhere and float around or tow a tube. This thing's got all the power for that. Yeah, so there's a seat. There's some storage compartments under there where you've got some ropes. The same is to be said for that one and that one. Plus it'll come with these brand new boat bumpers here and all these ropes there's a whole lot of ropes and a pretty solid anchor here in this anchor compartment um, yeah that's that's the anchor compartment it's very it's very anchory so let's pop over to the driver's side these seats are pretty cool what they do is you can pop these out like so there's life vests that will be included and a fire extinguisher brand new fire extinguisher that'll be included with this boat you can pop these seats down and it's a little dirty in between the crevices but you can make a nice little bed out of there it's really comfortable to lay on same is to be said for this passenger seat too of course there's more storage underneath the, this seat here i believe there's just some uh some more life preservers under there as well a uh, floating pad which you is required for you to be on the water comes with an all-around light with a brand new little fitting there or outlet rather. Here we go to the engine. This is like I said a Merc Cruiser 470. It's rated at 175 horse, four cylinder, 3.7 liter. So it is quite big for a four cylinder. This fitting was leaking so I replaced this two O-rings, a local marine dealer. I think it was like 40 bucks. <laughs> Pretty expensive for these little crush washers and such but there's no more fuel leaking so that's that's pretty good. You don't want that happening. It does have an alternator conversion, so you don't have to deal with um, stator or magneto. I think these actually had a magneto when they came out, which is good. I replaced that that fuel line down there. If you can see it, I don't know if that thing's going to focus, but that fuel hose right there, that's been replaced as well because the old one was dry rotted. 
and the carb is in very good condition like I said it starts and runs every single time this also comes with a brand new battery too and that battery has been absolutely great so far so now I'm going to show you what it's like to start it I'm not going to run it too long because the earmuffs for the water and such are in the car that I don't really have access to an out or a hose right now so I'll just get it running and show you that it does start and run so like I said this thing's been sitting for about two weeks just due to the terrible weather we've been having you can give it a little bit of a little bit of gas to start it up that shifter is nice and tight because like I said that cable was just replaced and what I say starts right up and the idle smooths right out once it starts running for about a minute or so. It is, it's an older carbureted motor. I don't want to run it too long. Like I said, there's no water going into the radiator from the outside. So we're just going to shut her off. Voltmeter works. Oil pressure works. That temperature gauge works. The fuel gauge works. The speedometer does not work. However, that's an easy fix. The RPM gauge works sometimes. So I apologize for that. Um, the trim gauge does not work. Moving the trim up and down is quite easy. This way is down, that way is up. You can kind of tell where it is. Let's shut it down now. The cigarette outlet works perfectly. Uh, one thing to note, the radio does not work. That just might need to be replaced or there's some fuses under there. Let's see, those fuses, one of them might be blown. Let's get a better look there. Previous owner had a bit of a wiring mess, but that's no problem. That should not be a hard fix. Another quick thing to note is there is a brand new bilge pump that I just installed here too. So that about does it for the interior of the boat. Uh, we can look at the hull real quick. Hull has a couple little scuffs just from the trailer, the rollers, which that's no big deal when you Roll this around if it's a bit dry. The trailer rollers will leave mark on, marks on it, but they can easily be rubbed off. The hull has no damage on it whatsoever. I'm gonna to try to show you the best I can. You can come and see it in person. Yeah, you'll know that it's a pretty solid fiberglass hull and glides along the water real nice. Like Before I wrap this video up, I do wanna show you. It's a little hard to see because it's bright out, but the trailer lights, all of them do work. This is just the lights on on the car. Uh, that one actually, so I did say all of them worked. I'm sorry, that one actually just recently went out. That might just be a bulb. Pretty easy fix. However, that one is working just fine. That's with the hazards on. It's the same same wiring for the um, blinker, so I'm not going to go through all that right now. It's a little hard just filming with myself, so I can't show you the brake lights, but if you were to come down, I'd show them, I'd show them that they work if you're interested. See, so yeah, I got a little sweaty. That's because I'm fat. Um, that's actually a good point. I wanted to mention before is this little ladder here, although it looks kind of tiny and rickety whatnot, this supports a lot of weight. And when I mean a lot of weight, I'm just about 260 pounds. I can get up on that ladder no problem. So that's a, uh, a big plus. Hopefully, you know, you're not as uh, challenged in the weight department as I am and it'll make a, your life a lot easier getting up on that ladder, but that thing does hold some serious weight. This is pretty much where I'm going to end the video. There's not much more to really explain. Like I said, it is an older boat. It's a 1979. It's a $2,000 boat. Like I said, throw me an offer. I can't, you know, worst I can say is no, or maybe we can meet in the middle. So, it comes with the trailer. I'll be available to show it pretty much anytime over the next couple of weeks. If you want to get it before the summer's over, there's still a couple of months left of really hot weather, especially in the Jersey area, if that's where you're going to buy from. And thanks for watching. Make sure you subscribe, hit the like button, share it with a friend, and remember to keep it fat.